Well, good morning, guys. It's the first day of fall, October 1st. Well, September is the first day of fall, but it's October. Feels beautiful outside. Trees are turning. Fall is in the air. And I think our beans may be good to go as soon as the dew drives up, dries off. But we're going to jump on down. And of course, the one place we always go. We're going to head down to John Deere. I bought a 9560 SDS combine. And it comes with a 25 foot head. What I'm thinking about doing is there's a old John Deere 9400 or 9500 combine with a lot of hours on it. Buck says that thing runs great. So I may actually buy two combines. And then this is the bean field we own that we're gonna harvest. Not a crazy amount of acres, but it's gonna be nice to have two combines run on this. Because it is, uh, with a 25 foot header, it's gonna take a little bit. And then that way if one combine goes down, you got a backup. First we're gonna stop and grab some Casey's Pizza. Hey, there's Buck! I don't know if you guys know or heard, but over in Burksville, Moore, Iowa is just uh, two miles right there. You can see the water tower right there. If you go about another eight miles north of here, there's Burksville. I hear they're in a Case IH dealership. That's going to be pretty cool to have. So, we'll see. Maybe we'll buy some more red equipment now. Hey, and there she is, a 9560. It's got 1,200 hours, 1,200 separator hours on her, 1,800 engine hours. Perfect combine, owned by a guy named Herb. Awesome guy. Uh, farm 400 acres with it. This is going to be a heck of a combine. Um, Buck found it at a different dealership. Different dealership told me the story behind it. And I was like, yeah, let's buy that combine. Everything's good on it. Uh, there's no crazy wear on it. Everything was taken care of. It was went, went through the dealer every year. Feeder house looks good. Um, rotor, everything's good with the rotor. All the auger flighting, perfect. So I think this could be a good combine. Looks like somebody left their flip-flops, alcohol, and sun hat in here. So I actually purchased and paid for this already. And then I also purchased and paid for the 625 F header. It's a 25 foot bean head. Should work good. Fuck. Hang on, I'll be with you in just a second. Kind of on rush order here. Of course she's gonna take my golf cart. <laughs> You know, you could make yourself useful and actually work here. Or you could take it up to the break room. That works too. So this is 9400. You're trying to sell me also? We're asking 34 for the package on it. You get both header and this. I just have it in here right now because we're going to do an inspection on it to make sure you know it's not an absolute hunk of garbage. How many hours are on it? It's up to standards. 22 on the engine. Oh. 20 on the separator on cool. 2200 yeah okay well that's not too bad um so 34 with the 620f header two it's been well Fuck, maintained i just don't have another i just don't have another operator if i it, you want to run it at all for me i mean I'm, i have to the bigger combines cost pretty much the same but if i get away with two maybe it'll work better i don't know the thing is if one breaks down i can still keep going that's the biggest thing let's just hope it's not the expensive one yeah well, so that one we just we didn't even get to clean that one out before you I know. bought it. It's so clean. I, have that it's clean. I know. I, I went through it. It's pretty. It's fairly clean besides the flip flops in the cab and stuff like that. I'll I'm take saying, this we too. Didn't really clean it out yet. Yeah, I'll take this too. So we'll run two combines. Yeah. Well, we're gonna run this one through a little bit of inspection quick before. So I'll just bring this one out since it's wide enough to go on the road. Okay. It's not wide enough that it can't go on the road without the header. So I'll bring that one down if you want to get that thing going on yours. Yeah, I gotta get beans going today. Um, everything good to go on that 9560. You guys check through uh, it? It should be. That should be. We did a mechanical inspection on that. Okay. So that one should have cleared. That one cleared everything on there. The only thing we didn't do, like I said, is we didn't get to clean it out. So you might want to take a look at, like, the air filter and all that stuff because we were getting up to that spot, but then you came in and bought it is right it off. Rotor, spot. feeder house speed all set to beans? Or I got to change those uh, out probably. You might want to check the spreader in the back. That's the only okay. thing I know it's probably not. That one I think is okay. still set to corn, but you also might want to check your belts. Okay. I'll check it I'm over. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure everything is all tensioned up and in good condition. There's no wear and tear uh, slits on them, so. Okay, we paid Charlie. 
We paid Charlie for that combine. I already paid for the 9560. It should be good to go. I gotta make sure the feeder house speed is set. Beans. That should be good. The rotor. Rotor speed set good. Chopper. Straw choppers up. Okay. We should be good to go, I think. The only thing we're gonna need is there's gonna be a couple adjustments in here. Fan speed, concaves, sieves. We'll see. We'll adjust those as we go here. We should be fine though. Transfer it to road gear. Crank it in third gear. There we go. So if you guys don't know, this is combine I have in real life. So I was like, we have to get a 9560, but we're covering a lot of acres. So I was like, we get two combines then. That'll work perfect. So find an old 9400 with low hours. Should be a good combine. Buck says he'll be in route. Gonna grease her up and I'll be in route. You just got a text from him on my phone. This texting thing, it's kinda cool. I don't know if you guys know what LOL means, but I'll say LOL back. See if he gets it. That's what the kids are all saying nowadays. He, he texted me back, he said, you forget to take your pills again. How do you know? <laughs> We're stupid. <laughs> okay, Buck sent me a text, sounds like he's gonna be down here soon. So we're gonna get cutting these beans. I'm gonna go out and taste them. Um, they should be yielding good. There's some green leaves on them still. That's what I'm unsure of, because those green leaves are going to get wrapped around that bean header. It's going to make a mess of them. They're not going to process good through the combine. That's what I'm worried about here. There's just too many green leaves. Most of these should look like that, kind of. Huh, huh, huh. We're going to test these. We'll test these, see if they go, and then we'll figure out the green hole in situation later. I just got to get to the bins. Um, I did buy an auger, though, on Craigslist. That's a pretty cool site. I don't know if you guys have been there, Craigslist. You can buy a lot of stuff on there. It's kind of addicting. Turn the separator on. And header. I'm not hearing any bad sounds out of the combine. That's good. We should be good to go. Digging into some beans. Okay, I'm gonna shut, we'll shut the combine down. We'll check for any bean loss out here. Looks pretty good though. We got a couple too many going out the back, I'd say. We'll turn down the fan speed just a little bit on the combine, that way it's not pushing them out the back as hard. I'm not seeing too many green pods in there. We should be good to go. Hello? Hey. Yeah. I got track. I got 9400 sitting at the end of the field over here. I'm gonna take my pickup and go get your uh, your wagons. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. We are you just gonna hook them up Where to your truck? At? Yeah. Uh. Okay. They're they're by the bins. They're both hooked up. I don't know if you can pull both with your pickup. You could try though. Yeah, I got the 302 in this. I had the bigger motor than you. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we might need to just get them here, and we'll figure it out later. If need be, we'll, okay. we'll get a tractor or something. I gotta grab the pin, though, out of my back, so I might have to run home quick. Okay. Unless you got one at your place. Yeah, I, I got one uh, just in the toolbox in the shop. Okay. If you check this, you know, first time combine, but this, this is gonna take a while, this field. Well, once I get started on my end, then we're doubling our, doubling yeah. our width, basically. Yeah. Okay, I'll let All you right. go. Yep, Sam, I'm just getting to the farm now, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we'll see you back. Boys, this field is gonna take a while. Wow. Still haven't even made around the headland. And this is one of the smaller fields in the area, too. I'm gonna shoot Buck a text. Quick. Oh, he's out in the field already. I didn't see notice that. What is that, Buck? Look at that. The guy can't drive straight to save his life.
Pretty good yield beans though. Buck's gonna load in the back one, I think. What's the plan, Stan? So I'm thinking you can take over the 9560 and I'll put uh, I'll put Alex and neighbor kid in the 9400. If you just watch over him, he should be good to go. And then I'll get the auger set up on the uh, on the bins. That should work. Okay. This is a big field. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, since I cut it in half, it doesn't seem too big with the section areas. So, yeah. as long as we kind of like look at it by proportion, we should be fine. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep going south side though, so that way when Alex turns around, it's not gonna be as like partial that he might run over the other section. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, we're good. Uh, okay. Right. Can you get him going? Uh. You might want to at least give them the whereabouts. Yeah. I mean, I know how to run that thing, but I had to try and figure it out on the fly. This one I'm more comfortable with. Okay. Looks like Alex is going good. Buck's out there going the 9560. He, kid's got it. He should get it. That, that We're going to have to. It's cutting a straighter line than I am. <laughs> okay, we need to get the 1206 out. I'm going to put that on the auger I bought. So i got to get the 9220 out, and then we'll put one of these tractors, probably the 8110 on the wagons. Yeah, that'll work good. Or maybe we'll split the wagons. We'll put the 7110 on one, 8110 on the other. We'll see. Put her in gear. Should be good. Fire up the 1206. Yeah, it's been a while since we started her. Come on, come on. There we go. I had the auger parked at another farm, so we're pulling it home here with 1206. 18 mile an hour. It's beautiful out though. It's perfect. Just need to get a little more closer and I actually need to jump up there and open that. Right. Right about there should be good. Sounds like Alex is about full out there. We're going to unhook the truck. Run out there, pull Buck's truck up forward. There we go. No, well, no, I'm gonna go back and forth again. So by the time you get him unloaded, I should be piped back to this side. Back up to the wagon, connect the wagon, turn off the hazards. We're gonna run out, Alex is full, he's stuck out there. So we're gonna unload him quick. It would be nice to get a grain cart. Maybe we'll get a grain cart, because we could put that on the 9220. That 1920 has a PTO. That would be perfect, but we got to get rolling here. I'll send Buck a text, see if he's full. He's two thirds full, okay. We should be good. Yeah, there's Buck rolling out there. Alex is, yeah, we'll get Alex going. Keep Alex rolling. Alex is getting her unloaded. This 9400 doesn't hold much. We'll get Buck unload on the go here. If I can catch him here, we got a load behind us. So good right there, Buck? Uh, a little further. You're good. Leave it and we'll see what happens. Okay. Stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. All just to you. You full? I'm full. I'm going to take this one in. Okay. Sounds good. We'll keep on keeping on. There Alex goes. He's rolling. We'll try and run back in time to unload those guys, keep those guys going on the go. I might maybe just run and bring the 7110 Magnum out so the Magnum's out here on the other wagon and they can keep going because this is full. I don't know if a pickup truck can pull, the, pull, pull this uh, fully loaded. We'll see though. Looks like no cars are coming. We'll get on the road here. Okay. We'll leave that right there. We're gonna get the Magnum, run down there with the Magnum. That way those guys can keep rolling here. 
We'll probably just pull, put this on the field edge. That way both these guys can unload into it. Yeah, that should be good right there. Okay, we're unloading Alex. He's in there, he's rolling. This is going good. It's working real good. He's going fast for me, we'll gear up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna unload Big Trucker here. We're coming under, Buck. Trying to get myself in line here, hold on. Okay, good. Right there? Should be. Just gonna try and keep it steady. Tone it down a little bit, you're getting about halfway back. You know, we probably could have used the 30 foot or 35 foot head. Would have been nice. Yeah, but at that rate, you had to get this thing tuned up just a hair. That might have been a little too much for it. Yeah, I think for corn, we might go to eight row. We'll see. Well, guys, we're going to keep going with harvest here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. Next video, we should be on corn harvest. Hopefully, we can knock out some acres. But hey, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.